previously on the NoVimpy channel. It is now. <laughs> and coming up, filler to me. Ooh. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Cue the snafu! Good afternoon, good evening and good night. Why does good night like imply goodbye? I don't know. Because it's at the end. Yeah, but quando, quando, quando? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yes, welcome to this Novimpia Eurovision treat. God, we can't stop. Someone stop us. There's too many of these. <laughs> uh, just to quickly address, I mean, the comments that we'll get. Enough of this. No more of this Eurovision coverage. I mean, just don't click on it then. Why you don't want... <laughs> You don't want to see it. Don't click on it. What are you doing that for? We're still putting out normal videos every Sunday. Don't you worry about it. This is just extra don't fluff. Don't worry about it. In case you are here for Eurovision and you don't know who we are, my name is Nova. Yes, and I'm Olympia. Usually we are in drag, but not today. Not today. Oh, well, it's probably Ukraine's turn. What do you think? It mm, is, yeah. yeah. So we watched bits and pieces of Vidbeer. I don't think we watched the entire thing, did we? That's Ukraine's national final. I don't fully understand the controversy that went down with the voting so I'm not going to like yeah. talk about it in too much detail <laughs> but I believe it was as they say in the professional industry me in them poo poo hole it was bad it was really yeah. really bad but you bad. know what I don't think there's been a single national final thus far that has not been marred with some kind of like controversy or I yeah. don't know riggery or something I don't know but anyway we saw a, a few of the um, performances from Vidbia I didn't think it was the strongest it's ever been no I really only liked Melvin and the winner I think were really the only two that I cared for yeah and people are going pretty hardcore for this one in particular oh Yaggedy as well was it called Yaggedy there, there was a few in there but nothing that really kind of um, I was super enamoured with um, but on the you know the My Eurovision scoreboard app it would appear that this has gone straight in at number one just as a bit of uh, back history context people go ape shit for Ukraine they've been and rightfully so rightfully so they've been in the competition for about 20 years and they've come first I think three times they've come second a bunch of times they're the only country with a 100% qualification record from the national final they in, usually serve up just quality people go mad for them in recent years especially they seem to do a really good job at blending a more ethnic sound with something more modern we often get rap in recent years they've kind of like developed their own sound and mm. now people kind of know what to sort of expect from Ukraine. They weren't always good. like this, but I like I like this sound that we have come to expect from Ukraine. It is great. I mean, we liked Torchy last year. We loved Kalush Orchestra the year before. Yep. Go A. I mean, they're, they're just real heavy hitters. They're mm. like Eurovision superstars. So this one in particular is a bit kind of weird for us. I mean, should we just watch it? Because ultimately we don't really <laughs> like it. <laughs> We have seen this, it was unavoidable in the Eurovision <laughs> fandom because people have been posting this everywhere saying this is going to win Eurovision 2024, this is so going to win Eurovision, this is going what, to go, win. What, go to Ulverham? Mm, no, saying people are win? saying this is going to no, win. No, that seems wrong. So it's been everywhere. Should we just rewatch this? Because we haven't okay. watched this in a while. So it's Aliona, we? Aliona and Jerry Heil. Yes. Uh, the song is called Teresa and Maria. Yes. Which is ladies' names, isn't it? Are there subtitles? Maybe we can put subtitles on it. It looks like there are. Okay. The subtitles oh, it's in the Ukrainian. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> okay. I will say, having heard the studio cut of this and then seeing it translated, it's so much better for me. I thought this was a much more impactful. What, live? Live. I agree. I mean, it immediately is just like okay shut up now and pay attention to what i'm saying for a second i really like this outfit this kind I of love... like suit with the skirt yeah i'd wear the shit out of that it's a good vocal it's a very strong vocal it looks like we're getting like a moody banger i love a moody banger she's having a bit of issue with her in ears but that's fine you know that's okay yeah, she's very Surprise. emotive. Okay, <laughs> now when we saw this, we were like, okay, this is obviously another witch this season. She just appears out of nowhere and this is going to be the season of the witch. 
And then we saw on Twitter that she just walks behind the camera and we're like, we're such idiots. How do we not realize that? Did she come up from the floor, descend? Okay, so what I want is for this part to be different. I think this is where I, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And then when, I, when we realize, oh, this is the chorus and it's not going anywhere else, that's where I start to get bored with this. Well, at the moment, I'm in. At the moment, I'm all in. But it doesn't... I don't know, I feel like it could be grander towards the end. I love the visuals. I think that yeah. graphic of the lady with the shroud is so impressive. I love this. I love the rap. I like it as well. The graphics are great. I just kind of almost want to chop this song up and rearrange it a little bit. Like this, the actual structure. I don't, I, I don't like the way the song is structured. It's really hard to explain. Yeah, you just kind of want it to go somewhere else, don't you? Well, I don't know. I think that the first time we heard it, the word we used was it's a bit dreary. People, I, yeah. I, the anger we're going to be eliciting with this because people love this so you're obviously going to disagree you're going to be in the comments you don't know what you're talking about and that's fine that's, that's absolutely fine. fine that is fine we don't have to argue about this These mind vocals you are amazing i see i kind of wish there she was singing more of the lyrics but i like how it's almost operatic though it kind of almost gets to where I want it to be and then it sort of it stops. Yeah, yeah. for me it doesn't go anywhere. It just is. And also because it comes out with the chorus straight away. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It, that's it. It is beautiful. It just feels to me like there's a missed opportunity towards the end where they could hammer home a bit more drama. I don't know. Are we just being, you know, spoiled? So, okay. People love okay. this. People absolutely love this. Okay. People are saying winner. I like it. I don't love it. And every time I listen to it, I will be humming along. I'll be tapping my foot because all the ingredients are there to make it something that I would love. Like I like the vibe of it. I love the, the, the melody that we have, but it just feels like when Back in the day, I don't know if people still do this, when like a snippet of a song would be released or leaked and then you would get all of those fan-made versions of like a full song just made with the snippet, like people had like repeated it and chopped it up. That's what this feels like to me. It's quite... God, how weird. It, people who know know exactly what I mean. I don't know what she's talking about. It's just kind of repetitive. I think the thing for me is that because on, you know, social media, people are consistently saying, oh my God, this is a winner. On the scoreboard app, it's number one. And because I don't want it to win, I think I'm probably pushing against it a bit. Resisting it. I think I'm resisting it slightly. But if we're gonna break it down, she looks insane. Yeah. She sounds incredible. The yeah. pair of them sound incredible. The, the visual we've got behind her is beautiful. It's a beautiful song. I mean, honestly, what more can you really ask for? I just don't I want more. love it that much. And I don't know why that are. Oh. For me, this is quite a big downgrade from Tvorchi. Oh, I don't think people will be angry that you've said that. I'm sorry. I loved that no. group. I loved that song. Please I loved don't unsubscribe. I thought that had much more attitude behind it. That was really, like, it really grabbed me. This... I like, but it's it's borderline background music to me. Like really it's a nice, little pleasant. Yeah. Who are Maria and what is it? It's Maria. Well, they're religious figures. Maria Teresa. Yeah. Should know religion better than that, probably. They're religious know. figures. Um, That's also been a little bit controversial. People aren't in love with the religious side of this. I haven't seen the full lyrics to know or have an opinion on that, but I have seen that chatter on social media. I mean, you could always watch the video we did a while ago where we tried to uh, retell the nativity story from memory, just to know how terrible our, you know, input is in a sort of theological arena. Listen, I appreciate this. I, I understand it, I appreciate it, but for me personally to become a fan and to win me over, I need more. I need a new section of this song written and inserted in somewhere. And do you know what That's as well, what I, need. I don't think we can downplay, it's the fact that it's Ukraine. 
if this came out of we San Marino, you would be like, oh my God, San Marino have absolutely nailed it. Um, it's probably because it's Ukraine and you expect it to be so stellar, which again, this kind of is, but I just don't know why I'm not going to listen to it. Why am I not pressing play I want on like it? a new bridge written yeah. somewhere. Where it goes like, ay a ay a ay a ay a And that could be replaced with something that's not so filler. That bit feels like filler to me. Ooh, that's probably why. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't like. Listen, I'm I hate. Sorry. I wish that we could we could like this. It just seems like we're sort of going against the grain. Just I, won't, to be I won't ever skip it. Contrary. This is not a skip for me because it is pleasant. And like I said, I do tap my foot. I do hum along to it. It's not a skip for me. I just wouldn't choose to put it on. Uh, are you throwing up our scores right now then? Yes, yeah, so oh, I, I have, have this. It. Where's my telephone device, Nova? I have this wrong. six. So I have this between Spain and Malta. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I don't think I'm about to put Spain higher than this. That seems weird. So I have got it. Oh, well, um, yeah, I fifth. have. I've got it fifth. Okay, so we're very comparable. I mean, there are still only ten songs, so you know, probably won't stay there. I don't know. Uh, what do you think about this one? Get it in the comments. We know you're going to get in the comments anyway, and absolutely give us a bashing and a beating, and that's fine <laughs> and okay. <laughs> if you would like to head over to our Patreon, there's exclusive stuff on there. Nova, what are the podcast, the Discord? Yeah. Extended versions of stuff that you don't want to watch the shortened versions of on YouTube anyway. The link for that will be arriving on screen just presently. Ooh. Thank you so much. <laughs> that, was be that was beautifully done. Uh, you can be the stand-in for this one and I'll be the stand-in for God to... That, that seems fair. That, seems, that fair. seems fair. There's also Twitch if you'd like to join us for game night. We're very excited. Next up, we will be having Finland oh, and, and Italy. They're Latvia. coming very, very soon. And Latvia. Um, so look out for those. We'll get them out as soon as oh, possible. Oh, Christ. Yeah, sorry. It just doesn't end, does it? It will end eventually. Are we doing San Marino? Nobody watched the Malta one. Absolutely no one. Nobody watched that Malta reaction. They have a population <laughs> of about 40 people. So, I, you know, people aren't even aware that they're down there. Are we doing San Marino? Probably. Yeah, we'll do, I think we'll, it's we'll do the lot. We'll do the lot. San Marino. What's going on over there? I'm very interested, actually, about that. We'll see. And a La Scava Prossimo to our newest patrons. Aaron Fradley, Jill Skorzelski, Becca the Tower Reading Witch, and Petrik Osmazen. You've never seen before cyber sex again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cyber Everybody sex loves again. So. Facebook, sex book. Not a sex book. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron. Creature.